Deputy Commissioner. Mike. Deputy Commissioner. Thank you. Um, yes, the uh, the camera or the system can operate in a stopping mode, so that we actually, uh, within within a very very short period of time, uh, less than a second, we can get the uh, the registered numbers up. Uh, that can give us a, an automatic alarm, uh, and then we have a stopping group down the road. But at the same time, if that's not possible for safety reasons, we can follow up uh, through investigations later on. Um, last year, we're uh, today, right today, we're actually uh, seven up on last year's figures, and we're hoping to pull that back. We had a uh, what I could consider a, a very, very good year uh, last year. Uh, one fatal is too many. We all understand that, but certainly last year was a was an exceptional year where people really, really did um, uh, concentrate on their driving and certainly obeyed the rules, and that dropped the uh, the road toll considerably. Uh, we have seven more this year, at, at, as of today, um, but we, the clear message is it's up to you, the drivers out there. If you drive sensibly, if you drive to the rules and to the conditions, hopefully we won't see any fatal I beg your pardon? Yeah. Uh, last weekend was an absolute tragedy where we had uh, those three young people killed at Ipswich, um, and you know, you just can't describe. Uh, the effects that that's going to have on so many families and the ongoing investigation involving other persons. Uh, the road toll right today is 69 persons in Queensland and uh, you know we would ask people to think about this, think about the impact it would have. People's lives change in a blink of an eye uh, when there is a road tragedy and the cost to the community, the cost to families is just so great. Uh, please think about your driving, drive safely. Yes, look, obviously the, the tragedies of the last week are, are of concern, as, as is any death on the road. Uh, but police are very conscious of the fact that the work that they do can reduce the road toll. So it's still that combination of technology, such as the technology releasing today, and high visibility policing, which can drive the road toll down. But as well, we need the cooperation of the community. If people can just abide by simple road rules, a conscious decision to simply abide by the speed limit and drive to road conditions, we know can reduce the road toll by 60 or 70 lives a year. That's pretty significant and it just takes basic decision making, basic steps such as that uh, to reduce what is too much uh, carnage on our roads. Thanks, Annie. Appreciate that. Okay. Good.